Nation News, Delaware Valley's leading news program. With Rick Williams, Sarah Bloomquist, and meteorologist David Murphy. Good afternoon, everyone. And the big story on Action News this noon is DTV Day. We've been talking about it now for months, and now the change is at hand. That's right. The switch from analog to digital television broadcasting happens at 12.15 today for Channel 6 viewers. All right, our master clock is counting down the final moments of analog television before it's replaced by all digital broadcasts. Again, that happens at 12.15 in the middle of this broadcast, about 14 minutes from now. Let's go live now to consumer reporter Nadia Han in our live DTV phone bank center to explain what you need to do to make sure your TV will still work. Hey, Nadia. Hey guys, the first thing you need to do is take down the number for our phone bank. That number is 1-866-978-4232. You can see our phone bank is now staffed and open to take your calls. The second thing you should do is turn on all the TVs in your house. That way you can make sure every single one is good to go. If you have a TV set with a digital tuner, or if you subscribe to cable or satellite, no matter what package you have, you do not have to do anything to get ready for DTV. However, if any of your older analog TVs get a signal using just rabbit ears or some other kind of antenna, you need a DTV converter box. If you're having trouble hooking up your converter yeah. box, the FCC has contracted with some vendors to help you free of charge. For a list of installers, go to 6abc.com or call 1-888-CALL-FCC. Again, if you have cable or satellite service, you should be fine. But if you have a DTV converter box or a digital TV set with an antenna, you must rescan for channels after we make the switch. Because TV stations are making the switch to digital at different times, you may have to rescan a couple times today or you can wait and do it all at once tomorrow. Also remember, even after the switch and once you've hooked up your converter box, you'll still need an antenna with an older analog set. You'll also still need an antenna if you have a digital TV without cable or satellite service. And you have to play with your antenna because that digital can be a little finicky. There is a signal strength meter on your TV or in your converter box that you can switch on. You can kind of move the antenna around and see where you get that strongest signal. Now, unfortunately, for those of you who've enjoyed listening to us on radio station 87.7, this government-mandated switch will take that radio station off the air. Now, again, if you have any questions, call us at 1-866-978-4232. Guys, I will be back a little bit before the switch, but for now, back to you in the studio. All right, Nydia, thank you. And just to reiterate now, we flip the switch at 12.15 p.m. in about 12 minutes from now. Nydia Hahn, as she said, will be right back just before the live switch to make sure you are ready again. 12.15, it all happens. Checking in on your weather now. This unsettled pattern continues today. All right, it is here. Time now to make the switch from analog to digital television. Get ready now. In just a few seconds, we're going to be turning off our analog signal. So let's go back live to consumer reporter Nydia Hahn in our DTV phone bank. Nydia, you're ready to throw the switch. <laughs> That's right. Well, almost. Before we cut off our analog signal for good, we want to make sure everyone has the number for our phone bank. It is 1-866-978-4232. You can also call the government hotline you see there, 1-888-CALL-FCC. Also, there are DTV walk-in centers you can go to for help. Call that same government number, or you can head to one of these malls, Franklin Mills, the Gallery, or Plymouth Meeting. We also want to remind you, if you have a DTV converter box or a digital TV set with an antenna, you must rescan. All right, I understand it is almost 12.15. You're ready, folks? All right, it is now 12.15. Time to switch to digital only. Here we go.